In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use animation paths to create smooth animations of objects on a PowerPoint slide. So we have a PowerPoint slide here that comprises of a circle with some text in and a rectangle with some text in. So the first thing to do is click on the animations tab and then open up the animation pane. So click on the text box. I want this text box to appear by coming in from the left as if from behind this circle. So the animation I'm going to choose first of all is fly in and there we go and I want that animation to come in from the left so I'm going to change the effect options which is available some animations to allow you to choose the direction that animation appears in. So just from the effect options choose from left and you see how it flies in. Now that's going very quickly so I'm going to change the duration to two seconds so that it flies in slower and if you want to preview that from the animation pane click the play from button and then you can see it floating in there and I said I wanted this behind the circle so I'm just going to right click the object and send it to the back so that it now appears behind the circle. Now you might think that's okay but let's just play this through. If I click play all you see how the text box does appear but it also appears on the left hand side of the circle before it comes out. So I'm going to use a different form of animation. I'm going to use animation path. So I'm going to remove that first of all just by selecting it from the animation pane and hitting delete. I'm also going to bring my text box back to the front just to make it easier to show. Selecting the text box and from the animation pane if you click on the expandable icon it gives you more options. I'm going to choose a line motion path. So motion paths, you saw there a very smooth transition. It sort of builds up speed, gets to a speed and then slows down gently. And that's the look I'm wanting. The animation path comprises of a line with a start point and an end point. The start point has a green splodge and the object that you're animating appears uh, in full. The end point has a red blob as the object appears slightly faded out. So I'm going to change my start and end points. First of all I want the end point to be near enough the same as the start point. So I'm just going to jiggle these around a bit so that my end point is where I want it to be. So I'm just changing where the red dot is. If you press shift on your keyboard that will snap the object to only move along a specific path and that might be useful for you to make sure you get the right place. Now I'm going to choose my green marker and that shows me where the starting point is and I'm just going to place that directly behind the circle and it's perfectly in line. The line that we have going between these two points is perfectly straight. So now let's see what that looks like. We click on the play from button on the animation pane and we see how it gently slides in from behind the circle, well, for in this case from the front of the circle. So what we need to do now is right click on the object, send it to the back, click play from again and we see how that looks much better than the previous version. We're no longer getting the animation appearing behind the circle over this side where we don't want it. It looks like it's actually emerging from the circle itself. So there we are, that's the use of animation paths to create smoother and slicker looking animations to reveal objects on PowerPoint.